Hey, Dr. Blackson, it's Diana. I am reaching out because I've been having some trouble in my relationship and I really need your advice. So please help me, I really need to sit down. Right this way. Thank you. Dr. Blackson, your next appointment is here. Um, I'm not Dr. Blackson. Dr. Blackson. Uh, you do, uh, sweetheart. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. Who are you? I'm good. How are you? You sure you need advice? Yes. Yes, I definitely need your seat, sweetheart. Thank you. Anything to eat, drink, smoke. I'm okay. Thank you. Let me see her DM, please. Yes, of course. Wow. There were 108,000 followers. Yes. Shit. Excuse me. God damn. Jesse, Anthony, get this nigga out of here, please. What's wrong with you? Be professional. Is it Anna? Ayana. Ayana. Yes. Tell me about yourself, please. Well, I am currently in a relationship, and I really, really love well, this. Forget thing. him. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Your do you have a mother, a father? Where are you from? Um, I am originally from Arizona. Arizona? Yes. Heat? Yes. Fire? It's hot. Uh, yeah, very hot. Yes. I'm from Africa. It's almost like Arizona. Mm -hmm. You have a lot in common. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I've been dating someone for five years, and I'm absolutely head over heels about this guy. But he doesn't seem to take me serious. And I just have this one little problem. What's the problem? His wife. Jesus. I feel like she's in the way and she's been an issue for about five years now and he still won't leave her and it's a problem. It's a huge problem. Five years? Yes. Of being a side bitch? I don't know about side chick, but I feel like, you know, I'm ready to upgrade my status. From side bitch to what? I want to be the only one. I would like to be the one with the kids and is the dog. Is the wife has, is she dying from cancer or something? No, she's just in the way. Where did you meet this nigga? Um, actually, we met on Tinder, and it's been. Yeah, married niggas on Tinder. Yeah. Did you yeah. swipe left or swipe right? Right. Okay, I don't know how that shit work. I'm not on Tinder. Okay. And it's just it's been amazing ever since, except for her. What does nigga do for a living? He's an investment banking. So you're into investment bankers? Yes. He makes a lot of money? Yes. Is he taking care of you? Of course. I'll probably lose a check here and I'll pay a couple of bills for you. <laughs> Electric bill, cell phone bill. For you with Verizon, Sprint. AT&T. That's expensive. Yes. You're an expensive woman. I am. I can tell. I look at you. I see dollars. When I looked at you, I lost. 20, I had twenty dollars in my pocket. When you sat down, I had five dollars left. Okay. What days do you see him? Um, at least twice a week. Sometimes on weekends. 
Um, your weekends? I never knew Sabi just get weekends. Well, it's like always when she's out of town. It's like special occasions or two weekends. Why she goes out of town? Why she, she's... Well, she's visiting her family, you know. So when she leaves, do you, do you go to their house or do you guys meet at hotels? Uh, I try not to go to the house but you've been often, to the house. but I have been to the house, yeah. You've been to her bed? Mm-hmm. You have fucked this nigga in a bed where you fucked his wife? Well, it's gonna be mine soon, someday, so. You have your mind made up? Yes. How many more years are you gonna be a side bitch? I, I'm ready to not be, you know, you number two. You want to be two. number one right I want Right now, like today. What are you doing to progress to that? Well. Are you sucking his dick better than your wife? I feel like I am. Licking balls? Yes. Juggling balls and sucking stick at the same time. I don't know how to do that. That sounds complicated. Well, you have to. You have to overcome that woman. Okay. Are you dropping it like it's hot? I am dropping it like it's hot. How she look? She looks really basic compared to me. She kind of looks like one of those moms like at, you. at the Gap. No. No ass like you. No. Not a waist like yours. No, it's really sad. And a shave, shave vagina like yours. I wasn't looking. Trust I me, I wasn't looking. I don't know what her vagina looks like, but I'm sure it's very sad only. Like Bush Gardens. Probably. You think everything about you is much better than her? Absolutely. Better uh, personality, would... you're more fun. Yeah. Coochie gets much wetter. Maybe. I mean, because why am I here? Like, why am I here? You know what I mean? Like. Yes, it must be something. Exactly. So you are you are progressing towards becoming number one. That is the goal. You no longer want to be a side bitch. No disrespect, but due respect, I have no respect. I'm the better option. Why are you settling? Settling? You don't consider that settling. You just, it's, it's hope, dreams of becoming number one. Well, I think that he's amazing. I think that he's wonderful. You see him on Tuesday afternoons. Yes. At lunchtime. Mm-hmm. Like a matinee movie. You never see night movies at all. So frustrating. Very frustrating. Mm hmm You see matinees. Yeah. You don't want to find a new nigga where you can be number one. No. You don't want to start over. It's a lot of investment, five years. It is a lot. If I had a side beach, I would see her Tuesday and Wednesday. Hmm. During the leap years. The regular years, maybe Monday and Thursdays. OK. And February 30th. OK. Right, that's never happened. Oh my god. You get your Christmas present on December 26th. Yeah. You get your Valentine's Day present February 15th. So sad. You are dead behind everything. You know when he's gonna marry you? January 33rd. Exactly. Hmm. Move on. Oh my God. You are like Kyrie Everett and she's LeBron James. Yes. And Kyrie got tired of being number two. So against what he did, he left Cleveland to go somewhere else to become number one. So sometimes to become number one, you may have to, at this number two, you have to let that number one go so you can become number one for somebody else. Now you think you have invested five years of your life. Mm -hmm. This nigga could keep lying to you. Is he telling he's gonna leave this woman eventually? Yes, and... Does yeah. she know that? Because I think you don't even wanna know that. He tells me that he's gonna tell her. He's gonna tell her, like, he's gonna email the bitch. Like, what do you mean? He's gonna tell her. He lives with her. They have children. He will forever be attached to that woman. Listen, I love this man. Like, you don't understand. You know, it's it's pretty intense. Now, I know you're gonna be number one for that nigga. It will never happen. <gasps> Most of our bitches are still, one is almost 80 years old. The bitch is gonna die on the side. 80? What I'm trying to tell you that. Side bitches, we lie to them. Even when we're telling the truth, we're lying. He lies to you. 
he's gonna get rid of his wife. When the bitch is done, it's over. Divorce, divorce. You're gonna be 50 years old. Your titties, those beautiful titties, are gonna be hanging like this. And you're still waiting for this nigga. While you're young and beautiful, go and become on the main street. You might have to pick a different city. Maybe. Let that nigga go. You're put in time. You're in jail. You're right. Fuck his money. Forget it. You want your own family. You and your own little children. Have little daughters with little titties like that. The baby versions. A son with titties. Everybody gonna have titties coming out of you. My goodness. You have nice titties. Thank you. They are very juicy. Thank you. What size is that? I don't care. I see things. Is it like a 38 double D? No. 32 double D? Yes. So each teddy is about 16 each. You could breastfeed three children at the same time. Oh my God. Here's the thing. You're a very beautiful woman. You know, I want to fuck you. Excuse me. I have no respect. With all due respect, I have no respect. Okay. I'm sorry. I just, I'm a, I got breastfed for a long, I'm a titty nigga. I'm sorry, I'm here to help you, you know, I'm being an asshole. But my best advice to you, you invested five years. That's yes. a very long time. If I invested anything for five years, if it doesn't produce, I'll be pissed off. Can you imagine? I gave $100 to the bank, and five years later, you get $80. That's what's happening right now. You're losing. You're right. You big L. Put the L up, let me see. L, that's what you are right now. Two L's. Oh, God. But if you turn this into this, that's two titties. Turn those L's into this. Okay. Your own dick. Put it in your mouth. Put disrespect. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. People come to see me for a reason. Okay. I know my, my, my advices are a little bit off at times. Mm -hmm. But deep inside, I know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You have to try to go from a side street to a main street. Yes. In five years. Yes. It's not going to happen. You can't just go from living on a side road and move to the main street. They're not going to change the name of the street for you. Somebody's already living on that street. You're a side street. Like people, people when people want to people wanna hide, they go on the side street. He's hiding you. Hmm? You're right. Do you know his children? You see the kids sometimes? The kids probably choose your auntie. They call you auntie. Yeah. Exactly. And when, they, when, they, when kids come home, they tell their mother, An auntie with the big titties was here. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? It's very sad. Very sad? Yes. Those titties should belong in the, your own master bedroom. Not the side street, that dark alley that nobody wants to go to. I agree. I like to be on Main Street. Think about it. You want to be on Hollywood or you want to be on Gawa? Hollywood. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Gawa is a side street. Mm -hmm. Just like your side beach. No disrespect. Well, due respect, I have what? Due respect. If things doesn't work out, I will make you my Main Street. I, and I can promise you. I might make you wait five years. You're used to it. If you was my main street, I would side swipe every bitch that comes around. Yes. I'll take you upstairs into my room. Pull your titties out, both of them. One at a time. Oh. I will slap my face with your titties. When I'm done with your titties, I'll probably eat your ass. Oh my God. Yes. But you don't do that when you're on Main Street. Oh. You don't eat Side Street's ass. Okay. Because nobody knows Side Street. They, nobody care about Side Nobody washes Side Streets. It's a little dirty through all the trash and throw it there. I want to, I could put you on Main Street. And that's where you need to be on. There are plenty of niggas on their way, but a lot of Main Streets open. Even if they don't have a main street open, they will close the side street for you. 
You're right. You are beautiful. Don't settle. Thank you. But what do you think about me? Um, on like a scale? Scale of one to ten. Ten is good. One is very oh. bad. Um, Five is average. Four. Jeez, I'm below average. Mm. I'm sorry. But if I was a, if I was an investment banker, would that make me higher? It would push you up to 0.5. If I say I had a big dick, a lot of money, and I eat ass, what would that be? Maybe a five point six. A big dick, eat ass, a lot of money, take you shopping. Six. Big dick, take you shopping, eat ass, a lot of money, love your mother. Six point four. Big dick. Eat your asshole. Take you shopping. Love your mother. Buy your house. Eight. Big dick. Buy your house. Eat your asshole. Love your mother. Take you shopping. Mm -hmm. I let you shit on me. I'm not really into that. Okay, I'll take the eight. Okay. I'm sorry. That's so mean. Oh my god. Look, look, for it's no hey, listen. Everybody has their opinion. Okay. But ugly is a new cute. Is it? Yes, we're in style. Okay. I have a lot to offer. Would you rather be on a four, a nigga that's a four and be on his main street, or be on the side road of an eight? I wrote of the eight. Are you trying to help yourself or what? Yeah. Out of curiosity, when you look at me, what do you see? What do you think of? What do you think of me? Hmm. Like, what do you see? You kind of remind me of those kids in the commercials that were like rescued, you know, the ones you donate money to? Yes. You kind of remind me. Sound like a baby. Well, like the adult version, like you kind of. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A dirt version of a baby, so you call me like an old infant. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about those children? Do you feel sorry for them? Or you yeah, want... I feel sorry for them. Will you breastfeed them? No. I Give me some titties, okay. Okay, besides the baby, what else do you see when you look at me? Um, one of those like weird koala looking things at the zoo. Koala? Yeah. Okay. What, are they cute? What koalas look like? Are they kind of scary looking? A little bit. A little bit. How do they look to you? I describe. Um. Like with your hands. Oh, your face. How you look? How you look? Kind of like that. Like this? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of how you look. Right now. Right now. With my regular With face. your natural state. It's okay. That's good. Okay. I'm sorry. It's this a, is no, so, no, I'm sorry. It's fine. Okay. Have you met a koala with a big dick before? It's a question. Oh I don't god. think you have. Oh my god. It's okay. I've met a koala. A big dick koala. All jokes aside. Okay. If you want to become number one for this nigga. You might have to cut down and cut out, period. Just cut the pussy off. Don't give him none. Why? That way, let him want you. Say, listen, you want this, you have to make me number one. Will that work? He has to sacrifice something. Tell me you don't want to see him on Tuesdays anymore. Tell him that you are in love and you want to do the right thing. He has to let the other woman go. Most likely, I don't think it's gonna happen. But give it a shot. Say no more coochie for you. You cannot touch these 32 double Ds anymore. You can never have this shaved vagina of mine. That's wet and juicy and gooey, tasty. You could never touch these lips anymore that's juicy and wet and shiny. 
these lips will never go on your boss anymore till you let that bitch go. Okay. You can never juggle these titties that I brought here that you see on Tuesday nights or Wednesday afternoons on December 26th, which is your Christmas. Tell this nigga he wants you, he has to have you the right way. You want to have children. You want to pop little niggas out of your coochie too. That bitch is having the children, having fun, family time, Google Gaga, all that bullshit. It's your turn. Yes. Give that nigga 30 days to get his shit together. Okay. Or you're cutting the coochie off. Okay. Coochie cut us. Okay. Don't settle. Okay. You're not a settled material. You are dying. Thank you. From one to ten. You're yeah, ten. Thank you. You call me a four, right? Yes. Together we are fourteen. It's better than ten. Okay. I wish you luck. If things doesn't work out, then I leave. You can sleep in the master bedroom. I'm okay. Think about it. I'm, not, I'm your doctor. I'm not trying to come on to you. Okay. If things doesn't work out, trust me, there's a lot of things I can do with you. I think I'm good. No, no, you, you shit on me, seriously. But don't tell nobody. Okay. Anthony. Get her Uber on my account, please. Don't touch her. Please, come. Give me her. Oh, Jesus. It's great to meet you. Can you wait a minute? Please. Please. See you later. Thank you. Take her upstairs, please. What's Instagram? This is a bitch. I'm gonna follow her right now. 